Yeah, sorry, I'm a little late. Um, Toure is just kind of just making himself visible almost every step of the way since he's got here, hasn't he? Yeah, he's done some nice things. I think he's got really good body control and body movement. Um, and, you know, he, he's a smart kid that really works at it. And all, really, all the rookies have done an outstanding job in that wide receiver room. you got to give Jason Brable and, and uh, as well as the veterans for kind of taking them under their wing, doing a great job with those guys. So, uh, you know, there's, they've shown a lot of flashes. It'll be interesting to see what ha happens next week in San Francisco. Yeah, no, I think th what a great atmosphere for these guys. Uh, you could feel um, you could feel the energy out there from from our fans, and I think uh, a lot of guys probably exerted a little too much in, in that pregame. Uh, routine that we did, and um, you can tell, especially with within our special teams as well, uh, there was a lot of running out there, and I think that definitely took a toll on our guys, but um, certainly we need to get in better shape. That, that's one thing that kind of stood out to me is it looked like there were a couple guys dragging, so whether, you know, we have to do more conditioning, whatever it may be, but we, we definitely are not where we need to be right now as far as overall conditioning. Well, you make up for Yeah, I, I, I doubt we'll do any live tackling. That's not something that we've traditionally done a whole bunch of, minus the year we had no, no um, preseason games, the COVID year. But I know last year we did it in here. Um, that's something that's going to be kind of a feel thing, uh, you know, on a yearly basis. Is, is the defense where you want it to be at this point? I mean, it looks like they make, your, make things hard for your offense basically every day up there. Yeah, I think there's some things that we're doing a great job with, and there's a lot of areas for improvement. Like I mentioned the other day, one thing that we've kind of challenged our defense on is, is just the consistency with stopping the run. And then I think they've done a pretty nice job uh, defending the pass, and in particular the deep balls, and not, not giving a ton of big plays down the field, especially I'm talking more our, our first group. I think obviously the second group and third group we gave up some shots to the, tonight. Flip side of that. I mean, if it's a practice at Ray Nishke Field, we're probably not asking. But when you're out at Lambeau, I'm guessing as an offensive guy, you would like to have seen more production from your number one unit tonight, huh? Well, I, you know, it's it's a double-edged sword. So I hope it's you know that our defense is is really stout and they're going to be very tough to deal with. I think the one area that we we have to improve is just the consistency up front. I mean, um, and now, granted, I think we have a pretty good. Defensive front, our front sevens uh, can be pretty salty. So I, I hope that's, you know, I hope they are making our offense that much better. And, and obviously it's, it's always tough when you're, you're missing two major players up front. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter who's out there. They got to get the job done. And, um, you know, we, we've got to see improvement over the course of the next week and into the preseason games. George's had a couple of stand in there and get rid of it plays. The long one tonight, he had one earlier in the week too. Just what is that telling you about just how he's kind of really zeroing in on the, what he's going to get accomplished with chaos around him? Yeah, no, he's done a nice job. I, I do think there's a little different feel in practice when you know you're not going to get hit versus the games. But um, certainly, it's it's been promising. He's done a nice job, and I think he did it again tonight. Although I think the one. Deep ball down the left side, or uh, maybe it was to Samori uh, down the field. He might, he might have gotten popped pretty good on that one. But uh, now Jordan is 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 showing a lot of growth in my eyes. We came in and you're talking about Vernon when I came in, or you were talking about Savage when I came in. Where have you thought of Vernon in that race to be that third safety? Yeah, you know Vernon's done a nice job. I think he's really matured as as a person first and foremost, and I think that's. Uh, Definitely had a, a major impact on his ability to go out there and, and play and at a high level. And just the consistency which, with which he approaches the game is definitely, he's definitely grown and um, he's a consistent worker and he's had a great attitude. And I think it's reflective in his play. Smarty looked pretty good today. Is that fair to say? Yeah, no, he did, like we just mentioned, he, he did a, that's all right. He did a lot of great things. And, um, you know, for him, it's just going to be, can he can he 
continue to improve each and every day. And we're throwing a lot at these guys. It's not like the, the playbook, almost the entire playbook's in, and um, he's handled it the right way. And, uh, you know, I think the arrow's pointing up on him, but he'll get an opportunity in these three, next three preseason games to, to show everybody what he's all about. Matt, watching that throw that Jordan made to Sonori, Live, did you think he would have gotten it off had it been tackling and he would have just taken a hit after throwing it? Or I know you'll see it on film, but what did it you think? Very, it would have been a bang bang play. It's whether or not he, you can get it off cleanly and take the hit, or you get hit as you're throwing it and that ball's fluttering in the air. So um, it's, it's really tough to tell because we've stressed it so much to our defense of staying away from the quarterback. So a lot of times, as those guys are going through the line of scrimmage, they start to pull up or, or starting to pull away just because we never want a guy to stop right in front of the quarterback. So when he follows through, that they, they ding their hand or whatnot. So, um, but yeah, no, he, Jordan, it's, it's been pretty impressive what he's been able to put together the last few practices and we need him to continue to grow each and every day.